she'll, but it won't be it won't become about her. It will become about her being something else. And that's not healthy with the with the comparisons. You're 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 pulling her away from her being her best self because you're comparing her to someone else and telling her this is how she should be when she's Whoa. her own person, you know? Can I can I Jazz, can I nigga has ever told a black woman to be like that? Like, what are you talking about? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Coach K. I seen you raising your hand. Okay, I'll I'll be real quick. Raise your hand. I was just gonna say that if men appreciate women, they can appreciate women all they want, but if women don't appreciate them or see where their value is, it's not gonna matter at the end of the day. Hello. That's that's all I wanted to add. Okay. I, I, I got another level of appreciation uh for my wife when I actually I delivered our first baby on the highway in the back of a truck. Is this wow. real? <laughs> Is this real yeah. cap? Yeah, like, it's oh. true story. So to see her go through that, it's so nice. You know what I'm saying? All that screaming and shit, like that's resourceful. Oh, Fuck nice. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it's a level that I can never that she can never go under. Goddamn me of appreciation that I always give her that grace. You know what I'm saying? Just to see her go through that. And then she was crazy enough to do it two more times. So I like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. How do you that, don't, that don't mean nothing to me. That don't mean right. nothing to me. That's your form we can give. No, nah, Anton, you gotta see this, you gotta see the process, dog. It's grueling. I was Wait. in, you know, I don't know if your process was different from my process, but I was there when my daughter was being delivered, also. So, Nick, I delivered the, the, my first daughter. Yeah, you know, that's because you're crazy. No, I'm not you're crazy. Highway. You're crazy. No, like, <laughs> like, me or Buff, nigga. <laughs> that happens a lot of times. Your, your whole life Hello, is, crazy. is it? Is it different processes for women to del deliver baby? I thought it was just one process. No, he. Uh, he I'll listen, when you got a nigga from Oak Cliff delivering, hell yeah, it's different, nigga. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So my wife, she got good coochie. So the way the baby came out, it yes, you you had to turn it to a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the good coochie babies, that the head come out a little different, bro. You got twisted. <laughs> Well, bro, that's amazing that you were. Where's your scientific evidence for this? Hey, trust me, I, I swim in that sea all the time, bro. It's different over there. Wow. <laughs> you delivering babies for other people's. Cool. Can I no. touch? No, no he said he swam. I mean, he always in it. That's what he meant by that. Hey, Q, can I can I touch? You've been married too long. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Tor Torrell. Is that how you say Torrell? Torrell. Real. Hey, do, do me a favor, y'all, just to preface it, because <clears throat> I know that some people's mics, it seems like it ain't coming through or whatever. So if, if y'all not speaking, just try to mute up so that we can try to make it as easy as possible for other people that, you know, they mics and stuff to come through. Go ahead, Terrell. Okay. So, Jazz, you were saying that, like, I don't know, the man that you dealt with or something have actively told you that they're comparing you to another woman. Oh, no, but, not me. No, not me. I, I know, but... Suitcase example. Okay, but see, yeah, no, men don't actually do that. We don't actively tell a woman like, "Hey, your pussy's better than her pussy," or I mean, right. some say something like that. Or, "Hey, I like you because your breasts are bigger than her breasts," or "Your butt is bigger than her butt." Dudes don't do that. Like, we we don't do that. We really just shut up and try and be like, "Let me get some pussy," like mm. you know, like we just jump through the hoops or of. What, however delusional she might be on a date or in reality or whatever. And we just actively, actively telling women or actively verbally comparing them. We don't do that. Men don't do that. We no, do that's, that's not entirely true. I guess that, that, that happened. I, that's true if you just fucking around. But I think that if you are with somebody for an extended period of time, she knows what your type is like she knows what you like she knows what you desire and so you may not necessarily tell her directly but you are indirectly communicating with her um every day of what it is that you like about her or what it is that you think is dope about other people that you may want her to adopt um even if it's just parts of her personality or ways in which other people is dope they pay attention Women are incredibly, the problem with women is that they don't necessarily listen to men when men are communicating directly with them as far as what it is that they want. Women often at times are more focused on what they see from you. They just like little children. 
and that children, you can tell a child something, but a child is more likely to adopt or pay attention to your mannerisms or the way that you operate or the way that you treat, treat their mother versus um, what it is that you tell them. You can tell them everything all day, but ultimately they adopt what it is, you know, you know what they see. And that's the thing that they look for. And women are very much the same way in which you can say, hey, listen, this is what I want. But often at times, the way that, that you're really communicating to them is the way that they interact with you or the way that they see you interact with people on a regular basis. And that's how they adapt to you. And that's the difference between being in a relationship or a marriage and just fucking around because it really don't matter what a woman think when you're just fucking around. You're not even really talking to her like that on that type of level. But when you actually kicking it with a woman, what I, I know and I can communicate with a woman without even talking to her because I understand what she feels or what her mannerisms are if she's been around for an extended period of time. And so she adapts to my, my circumstance or she pays attention, not necessarily to what I say, but how I move. But what I say is then the cherry on top of how it is that I'm communicating to her. So it's different when you're in a relationship for a longer period of time. You don't you know, communicate it directly, but you every day, everything that you do is indirectly sending her a message. So I think that that's true, but it depends on the circumstance. Yeah, because like when I tell my wife, like, hey, can you make the cheesecake like my mama? She really wasn't listening. But when I got my mama cheesecake and she seen the look on my face, she was like, oh, let me let me try to learn how to make it like that. You know what I'm saying? Me telling her that do no good, but once she seen my facial expression, how I lit up, she was like, oh shit, okay, I'm gonna ask her about the recipe. So and that's we, always, we always compare y'all to other women, like whether you know it or not. Even but I, mean, I, mean, I mean, that's why it's, I think that that's where the miscommunication comes in between men and women, because they don't comprehend the idea that we may mess with a chick or we may bust a chick down. But that's not necessarily the thing that we want to keep around for us long term. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because the only thing that they see in their mind is chicks that look like this may be winning because of what's being presented on social media or what it is that you fucking with or whatever. But in reality, if we say, Hey, this is what we want, or we don't want that, or we don't want butterfly eyelashes of shit, some shit like that, that don't comprehend to them because the only thing that they paying attention to is whether or not this guy is really picking this chick on a regular basis, even though it may not necessarily be picking her for a wife. So the comprehension or the communication is blurred between men and women. And, and, and we're not taking that into consideration. Yep. Yeah. And, I, well, and in. I would just like to add to take into consideration to that. You guys said that if you really love a woman, you'll lie to her. So it's OK. <clears throat> so so are we That's... listening to what you're saying or what you aren't saying? It, 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 if, if you're, if you're oh, willing to lie to us because you love us, then how sense. do you also say we're not listening to what you're saying? If we know that what you're saying to us might be a lie because you all heard us. The lies, the truth, is the truth is a lie, okay? And you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with that, but that is what I said. It just was. So uh, how, why, why would what, you expect your wife to follow you if you be lying? Make that make sense. Why would I want to listen to a man that's lying? Would you want to listen to me if I was lying to you? Okay, you which one's I'm motivational? Okay, hey, I make $20 a week. Now you feel like you can follow me or if I told you I make a million dollars a year. Okay, so one lie has got you motivated to get off your motherfucking ass and get the job done. Mm -hmm. you, you see how that lie works? Would you want to be lied to like that? Absolutely. Use the, use the tools to use me. If, if, if you can use me like that, then do so. My daddy used to lie to me all the time. So and, then it would, it would appear to and me look at that you. it would appear yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> So then it would appear to me that our skill and our ability to read your 90% nonverbal communication or the opposite of what you're actually saying is better than us listening to what you're verbally saying to us. So no, because, because you're still listening for the wrong thing, though, even when you're looking at the 90% nonverbal communication. And, and women lie to us all the time. Hey, you absolutely so, lie to us, one hundred percent. Rita, be lying to you, and but, but, you, but you, but you frame it in a in a, in a mode of support or motivating him or whatever. Y'all, y'all lie every single when you tell him he's the best guy ever or whatever. You fucking lie to him. You don't. You you don't really mean that. You don't even. Come on, seriously. Yeah. I love when my girl bring me the pickle jar. 
He could be well, the well, it's no, no, one. No, 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 no. And I'm not just talking. I'm not talking about sexually. I'm talking about yeah. in a lot of different ways. Y'all lie. Yeah. Like you tell what? him what he, a lot of women tell men what they need in order to get them to where it is that they want them to go. Actually, that's the truth. Yeah, and y'all don't frame it like that because y'all because it's not the same as saying you know what I'm saying. It's not a direct lie. Like, hey, did you go to the store? No, I didn't go to the store. You know what I'm saying? Women, in a lot of ways, they I call them a white lie, right? And white lies is half truths. So as mm. long as I don't ask the question a certain way in order to be able to expose the way you communicate with me, it's all a true, right? You it's almost that? like poker. If somebody asks me, Anton, do you got me beat? And I say, yeah. And they say, do you got this? And I'm like, I'm telling you, I got you beat. I don't really got that. But at the same time, I think I got him beat, but he really beat me. So I got to lie to him in order to be able to win the hand. It seems more complicated than it really is, but here, here's the gist of it. Women know the man that they with. They also know what he needs in order to get him to do what it is that they want him to do. Y'all are masters of that. Thanks. And you may tell him what he want to hear, but you're not going to tell him the whole truth because you know that it'll break him. Even when women cheat, even when women but cheat. that's not a lie. That is even, a lie. Even, even if a woman that's giving you what you can like handle. It. That's giving you what you need. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, it's yeah, a half truth. Yeah. It's literally a half truth. See, they, Gary explained it. I'm don't have here. truth to me. You know if what I'm saying? If a guy asks you a question, can... if a guy asks you a question, he's asking you a question. You saying you interpret that is I'm gonna give you what I think it makes sense for you. I'm gonna give you what. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not if he asks me. If I thought you were saying like if you're offering something, you give what you think he needs. If he, if you ask the question, then I think you should give the answer. Now you could be mindful of how, but I don't think you should omit because you don't think he can handle this part versus that. You part. definitely got to care. Like if a He's woman, cheat, lying. Like, like if a woman cheat on me and I ask her. Did you suck his dick? I need for her to lie to me like she did. Because, well, if, because if she sucked his dick, it's over automatically. You're going to lie. It's room for restoration of the relationship if she didn't. 